California Condor The California Condor Gymnogyps californianus, is a New World vulture and the largest North American land bird. It became extinct in the wild in 1987, all remaining wild individuals were captured, but has since been reintroduced to northern Arizona and southern Utah, including the Grand Canyon area and Zion National Park, the coastal mountains of central and southern California, and northern Baja California. Although four other fossil members are known, it is the only surviving member of the genus Gymnogyps. The species is listed by the IUCN as critically endangered. The plumage is black with patches of white on the underside of the wings. The head is largely bald, with skin color ranging from gray on young birds to yellow and bright orange on breeding adults. Its 3.0 meters wingspan is the widest of any North American bird, and its weight of up to 12 kilograms nearly equals that of the trumpeter swan, the heaviest among native North American bird species. The condor is a scavenger and eats large amounts of carrion. It is one of the world's longest living birds, with a lifespan of up to 60 years. Condor numbers dramatically declined in the 20th century due to poaching, lead poisoning, and habitat destruction. A conservation plan was put in place by the United States government that led to the capture of all the remaining wild condors which was completed in 1987, with a total population of 27 individuals. These surviving birds were bred at the San Diego Wild Animal Park and the Los Angeles Zoo. Numbers rose through captive breeding and, beginning in 1991, condors were reintroduced into the wild. Since then, its population has grown, but the California condor remains one of the world's rarest bird species. As of 2019, there are 518 California condors living wild or in captivity. The condor is a significant bird to many Californian Native American groups and plays an important role in several of their traditional myths. Description the adult California condor is a uniform black with the exception of large triangular patches or bands of white on the underside of the wings. It has gray legs and feet, an ivory-colored bill, a frill of black feathers surrounding the base of the neck, and brownish red eyes. The juvenile is mostly a mottled dark brown with blackish coloration on the head. It has mottled gray instead of white on the underside of its flight feathers. The condor's head and neck have few feathers, and the skin of the head and neck is capable of flushing noticeably in response to emotional state, a capability that can serve as communication between individuals. The skin color varies from yellowish to a glowing reddish-orange. The birds do not have true syringeal vocalizations. They can make a few hissing or grunting sounds only heard when very close. The female condor is smaller than the male, an exception to the rule among birds of prey. Overall length ranges from 109 to 140 centimeters and wingspan from 2.49 to 3 meters. Their weight ranges from 7 to 14.1 kilograms, with estimations of average weight ranging from 8 to 9 kilogram. Wingspans of up to 3.4 meters have been reported but no wingspan over 3.05 meters has been verified. Most measurements are from birds raised in captivity, so it is difficult to determine if major differences exist between wild and captive condors. California condors have the largest wingspan of any North American bird. They are surpassed in both body length and weight only by the trumpeter swan and the introduced mute swan. The American white pelican and whooping crane also have longer bodies than the condor. Condors are so large that they can be mistaken for a small, distant airplane, which possibly occurs more often than they are mistaken for other bird species. The middle toe of the California condor's foot is greatly elongated, and the hind one is only slightly developed. The talons of all the toes are straight and blunt, and are thus more adapted to walking than gripping. This is more similar to their supposed relatives the storks than to birds of prey and old world vultures, which use their feet as weapons or organs of prehension. Ecology and behavior. When in flight, condors move remarkably gracefully. The lack of a large sternum to anchor their correspondingly large flight muscles restricts them to being primarily soarers. The birds flap their wings when taking off from the ground, but after attaining a moderate elevation they largely glide, sometimes going for miles without a single flap of their wings. They have been known to fly up to speeds of 90 km per hour and as high as 4,600 meters. They prefer to roost on high perches from which they can launch without any major wing flapping effort. Often, these birds are seen soaring near rock cliffs, using thermals to aid them in keeping aloft. Wild condors maintain a large home range, often traveling 250 kilometers a day in search of carrion. 
It is thought that in the early days of its existence as a species, the California condor lived off the carcasses of the megafauna, which are now extinct in North America. They still prefer to feast on large, terrestrial mammalian carcasses such as deer, goats, sheep, donkeys, horses, pigs, cougars, bears, or cattle. Alternatively, they may feed on the bodies of smaller mammals such as rabbits or coyotes, aquatic mammals such as whales and California sea lions, or salmon. Bird and reptile carcasses are rarely eaten. Since they do not have a sense of smell, they spot these corpses by looking for other scavengers, like eagles and smaller vultures, the latter of which cannot rip through the tougher hides of these larger animals with the efficiency of the larger condor. They can usually intimidate other scavengers away from the carcass, with the exception of bears, which will ignore them, and golden eagles, which will fight a condor over a kill or a carcass. In the wild they are intermittent eaters, often going for between a few days to two weeks without eating, then gorging themselves on 1 to 1.5 kilograms of meat at once. Thanks for watching.